Okay, so random, I just arrived in Tangier and it's quite amazing. Like I haven't seen the city really yet, but already a couple of things have happened. Let me just show you my view. It's like, I had no idea this was like such a big city. And I don't know, like all the cities I've been to in Morocco were like, you know, not no uh, big buildings, you know, like very old architecture. And this is like the Barcelona at Barcelona. It's so weird. I'm very, I think I'm quite tired now. Is it? I, I guess it's quite obvious in the way I'm speaking. But drop my stuff down and I'm gonna go for a walk on. So there's this place called Marina Bay, not Singapore. And then this really long beach. Anyways, I was gonna go along the really long beach and I'm walking and these four like 12 year old boys are like looking at me and laughing and coming and like hugging me and I'm like okay what are you doing and like I was like what what are they doing and then they were one of them had his arm around my neck you know and like they, they were acting as if they were my boyfriend kind of and like the other guys were like Ooh, and, you know what I'm saying and then I'm like trying to I don't know I'm like stop stop and kind of laughing because it was kind of cute they were like 12 they were babies I was like what the fuck are you doing and then I'm like oh my god are they trying to steal something and I'm like and I was like then it didn't seem like they were and like I had my hand on my bag and it was fine but anyways and then one holds onto my neck but like like you know like this but like slightly too strong that I was like too far too far this is not funny anymore i'm kind of scared i'm alone abroad new city it's night it's like i just arrived you're scaring me and then the other guy comes and runs and kisses me on the lips so basically the last boy i've kissed is 12 year old moroccan stranger and then i was like bitch too far i just looked i was like i was not laughing at all anymore i was like too far but they were not speaking english or french so it was like Anyways, and then they followed me for so long, just kind of giggling like childish boys. And then I just decided I was not gonna do the walk I had planned on doing. I'm just on Marina Bay right now. I'm just gonna go to the end and then get back to my hostel. But anyways, <laughs> and also it's so funny in the taxi, like I took a taxi from the train station to my hostel and i came out of the taxi in the middle of the road like he dropped me in the middle of the road i was like bitch i gotta pay you he was like yeah i was like i've only got like i had way too much money like i could i needed him to give me change and he was like oh i don't got i don't have change and then the other boy in the taxi was like i'll pay for her and he asked for my number and bless i gave him a fake number and he paid for my taxi it was only like three euros but i was like i didn't want to give him my number and he you know like it I offered him half, so one euro fifty. That's all I had. I literally only had like forty euro notes, and they were like, no, forty, four hundred dirham. But anyways, so all in all, in one hour, quite a lot of things have happened. But I'm really happy to be in Tangier. This city looks lit. So yeah, catch you later. I'm gonna, don't know what. This is Marina Bay and this is the city of Tangier. I am freezing cold. So cold. 
It's only like maybe 12 degrees, which is not that cold. But like it's so humid. Tangier is so humid. Look. And I'm I'm leaving this hostel because it's just too humid and I'm going to a different one later. And this is my room. Oh fuck, somebody's running away. Wish. See you later. Ah. <laughs> Just organizing my trip to Casablanca. But basically, this is where I was sleeping. So this was my bed. And this is the shower. So like, I am here. And I can see people having a shower. Obviously, I'm not looking. And then this morning, this girl, I think it's so disrespectful, but she was having a shower at 8.30 in the morning. And so I was obviously woke us all up because like we're one meter away from the shower and then I was like yeah I might as well shower now. So I did. There was no more hot water and hardly any water left at all. So no problems. So I was having a cold and like non existent shower basically. I've been up to like I've been I thought I was gonna be able to film loads because I was traveling alone but then I kept meeting people and traveling with them traveling I mean like going from like a city to another and like, we didn't like stay weeks together but it just meant that I wasn't really gonna vlog but if I can update you on this week I've been spending alone in Morocco I have been to Tangier which I filmed a bit Tangier was very nice 100% recommend that city and then I went to Rabat, Rabat the economical capital of Morocco don't necessarily recommend all like just for one night that's what I did I went for one night I saw a few nice places but it's not somewhere you necessarily want to hang out too much then right now I'm in Casablanca I don't know much of it because I only arrived last night and then we went out out in an Irish pub. I went to the gym this morning, which feels so good. And now I'm just going to go like thrift shopping. There's this like big thrift de deposit kind of thing, which I'm very curious about. I hope they have like, I mean, I'm hoping, yeah, they have like 2000 kind of clothes. <laughs> I must say something about traveling in this country alone as a blonde girl is that you get stared at so much, which I get it. They're like, what the fuck are you doing here? Nobody's mean to me, nobody's being... Like, I, I totally get it. They, there are not a lot of blondes, blonde people here at all, but like... It does take a lot of energy all day. To be fair, I don't want to sound like a princess being like, everybody's looking at me. I, it's just the curiosity of people. And they're being very nice and like talking to me and being like, hey, you're welcome. Like, come in our country, be happy, do you want to taste something? And, I, and you know, you just can't be ignored. I'm, uh, so I'm a bit drained from just walking like 20 minutes. I have to put my headphones on because I was just like... I'm getting some food in this like super random place. I was just like, I need to sit down. I need to stop being visible for one second. I actually have no idea what I just ordered. <laughs> I'm like thrifting and he just put a curtain up to create like a cabin, which I think is so cute. We 
are going to Isawera. So today we're going to Isawera and we left at like half past eight this morning and I went clubbing last night so it was quite early but I didn't get I didn't go home late at all. Actually it was funny because the night before I also went out in Casablanca to what's it the Gabeston. Such a good club. I mean it's like beautiful. And then Luke and I came home and then I actually like met a guy and so I stayed a little longer out and then my mom woke up at like 4am because I was sleeping with her normally she woke up at 4am and she called Luke and she called me and bless I didn't tell Luke I was gonna stay a bit longer so he thought he had brought me home and then I but I didn't think I needed to tell anyone because I thought everybody, which was stupid, but I thought everybody would just fall asleep and I was just going to stay one more hour and like, anyways, then that was all a bit of a panic. And then last night we went out, but I actually came home before Luke, so I was like, I could. And I just slept three hours in the car. Now I want to have tea and... I don't know what, but we're going to Isabella, which is exciting! That being said, I'm really gonna fucking miss Casablanca because that city is lit, like, I love it. I want a bit sweet, look. We didn't have any sardines, did we? <laughs> this is Amlu. Just go back. I mean, your tongue. You touch shawarma, too. Shawarma, fig de barbari. Today is day one in Issa, we're at like full day one. It is 10.30 and we're going on a hike, which is cool. Got my salamons on, leggings on and yeah, and I'm excited this morning. You know what Amu is, it's like almond butter with argan oil. I ate like 100 grams of it. <laughs> Should we just find the coast first and then things, aren't they? I'm gonna get mad. Should okay. we not find the coast we first? We need to go where we were dropped off by the so taxi. Oh, okay. Yeah. We... So we're gonna hike to this place called Jabat and then maybe go to the fish market. And get pastry from the oldest thing. And get pastry oh, from you the know team. You know Septim. You know Latte or nous 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 cafe nous 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 
tu reviens à ah, ils appellent. Et quand tu that... reviens à la maison, nice. on ira à Martin. Good morning. Last morning in Morocco. I mean, obviously tomorrow morning when we're flying out. But today is the last day, the last whole day. I don't know really what we've got planned, but my sister's here, and we're gonna have some fun. Yeah. Um, and then get straight in. <laughs> Frankie! Yeah, that, is that the genre of secret? Not sure. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, we could do that coming back. Entering the Basha. My favorite young girl. to the cold no, because it doesn't exist so that's why actually we call oh and english oh, yeah. or french yeah. it's yeah. like almost like yeah. ill not ill but like i ate something Yeah, you like your pasta, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. 